The following program is intended for mature audiences. When Megan's incident first happened, a lot of people speculated that Tory Lanez didn't do it and or it was an accident. When Megan gave her first statement via Instagram, she stated that the person that did it to her did it intentionally. Her friend followed up on Instagram and stated that it was only three people in the car. She didn't do it. Megan didn't do it to herself but she was present to see who did it that was enough for me that said a lot that to me said tori lane did it okay megan was just released from the hospital and she came down to the instagram and stated that she wasn't trying to defend anyone by not stating who did it to her she just wasn't ready to talk about it so it is what it is tori lane's did it being very supportive and sending prayers and I just really appreciate that. I saw the hotties doing a lot of things like writing letters on the on Tumblr and DMing me all the time and I just want to say thank y'all so much because y'all really been the ones that been helping me get through this. Uh, I was shot in both of my feet. I was, I was shot in both of my feet and I had to get surgery to get the shit taken out, get the bullets taken out. Uh, and it was super scary. surgery was super scary it was like just the worst experience of my life <laughs> and it's not funny there's nothing to joke about it was nothing for y'all to start going and making up fake stories about <laughs> I didn't put my hands on nobody I didn't deserve to get shot and do shit I'm like And thank God that the bullets didn't touch bones. They didn't break tendons. Like I know, I know my mama, my daddy, my granny had to be looking out for me with that one because where the bullets hit at, it just, it missed everything. But they, the motherfuckers was in there. And it's not that I'm, I was protecting anybody. I just wasn't ready to speak. That's not no shit you just immediately get on the internet and start talking about. And that's a lot of y'all motherfucking problem. <laughs> y'all take y'all whole life to Instagram and Twitter and make it a fucking diary. And that's not, that's not me. Uh, so, <laughs> fuck y'all and them fake ass blogs and y'all fake ass sources and my fake ass friends. <laughs> but on a positive note just taking some time to myself have definitely it has definitely made me realize how to move forward and you know how to protect my energy I'm so nice imagine imagine being imagine being 25 
And you don't, you don't have both of your parents. My mama was my best friend. She, you know, I'm still really not over that. So you like, you kind of try to fill like your space with a bunch of people that you think is making you happy. Like, 